our work focuses on bringing together art and design and cell visualisation. Up until now, what we've allowed researchers to do is go inside their own data as a single user. But what we want to do next is actually bring multiple users together in that data. Our approach allows researchers to annotate and interact with their data simultaneously. So this is a huge leap for us. We take researchers' data from scanning modalities such as PET-CT and lattice light sheet. And then what we do is we take the dynamic component and we visualize that over time. So for the researchers, this is great. Rather than looking down the microscope at a two-dimensional image, we can now reconstruct a three-dimensional image in virtual reality that they can move around in and be immersed in that data simultaneously with other researchers at the same time. We can track the movement of the nanoparticles as they enter the tumour. This allows us to highlight the area that we can target with radiotherapy. And ultimately, our approach can assist in the development of new types of cancer drugs. Oh, look, it's really exciting because currently when we look at cells, we look at them as static images. And this technology is allowing us now to sort of almost touch and feel the cell. We can travel through it and around it and, and look at the structures within the cells. Apart from the educational aspect, the multi-user VR will allow scientists to understand what happens to cells when you alter their genetic makeup and how they respond to drugs. We believe that our virtual reality approach can allow scientists to be much more collaborative, being immersed in their own data simultaneously across the globe. If we can give them VR systems that allow them to do that, we can hopefully accelerate the discovery process.